Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. This morning's topic is going to be, who are the flying monkeys? Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So, the flying monkeys, these, these are people that surround themselves around the narcissist, and they can be anybody, and I'll, I'll jump into that and I'll explain exactly who and what a flying monkey is and, and how they function. But a flying monkey essentially is a person that is kind of a clingy, a clingy person with the narcissist, meaning this person wants to know about the narcissist, that they, they are involved with the narcissist in some capacity, maybe daily, maybe, maybe a couple times a week or a month, but, but the flying monkey is someone who essentially reports back to the narcissist on what's going on with you and with other people. You see, the flying monkey sincerely is equally or can be equally as harmful as a narcissist. And you may say, Andrew, how is that possible? I was with the narcissist. They're, they're devastating. They're destructive and they manipulate. I understand that. But the flying monkey, they kind of go under the radar and you may not know who a flying monkey is exactly. Meaning a flying monkey can be anybody from, it could be anyone from a neighbor, someone you frequent, let's say if you get your hair cut, it could be someone that does your hair. It can be a teacher, a counselor. It can be a uh, alleged friend that you have. A flying monkey can be virtually anybody. It could be a, a shared child that you have. A flying monkey may not even know that they're a flying monkey. And what a flying monkey does is they will figure out, they'll talk to you and, and, and get your feedback, what you're doing, how you're doing, what's going on with you, any new developments, any progress, or basically how you're doing. And they'll report this back to the narcissist. Now, it's not like they're gonna be sitting and interviewing you and taking notes on a notepad and saying, okay, well, what's next? And it's not like they're, they're, they're taking lecture notes. But believe me, they will be taking mental notes and figuring out exactly where you are on your healing path or how you're doing or what you're doing or anything about, excuse me, anything about you. And they'll report it back to, to the narcissist. You see, the narcissist uses flying monkeys to do their bidding for them, to do their work for them. Because remember, the narcissist is a coward and the narcissist is also a bully and they don't want their fragile, fake ego to be hurt by maybe contacting you. And by the way, you should be no contact. I'm just explaining what a flying monkey is. Uh, they don't want to get hurt. Remember, the narcissists always need to have, have the upper hand. They need to feel like they've won and they're in control and they dominate. That's how they feel, which is completely not true. We already know that. We were fooled in the relationship, but we know that now they're just, they're basically like children. The point is this, the narcissist will utilize a flying monkey to get information about you, your whereabouts, what you're doing, your progress, who you're with, your new job, how you're looking, all these kind of things, and they'll report it back to the narcissist. At this point, the narcissist may say, wow, so-and-so is doing much better. Maybe it's time for a Hoover, or maybe it's time to contact them again, or I wonder if they've forgotten about all the abuse I put them through for X number of years. You see, the narcissist, once you are in the grip or the grasp of the narcissist in any capacity, specifically romantic relationship, but it can be any capacity. They sincerely believe that they own you. They believe that they have um, control over you. And you may say, well, how is that possible, Andrew? I've broken off all ties with them. They've been out of my life, no contact and blocked for years. The reason why is because they fooled you once and they believe that you either A, have a short memory, or B, can be fooled again and manipulated. The narcissist is hoping that they can just turn their charm on and again, like, like a light bulb, turn you back on, use you, manipulate you, destroy you, rinse, wash, repeat. That's what they're thinking. Now, I'm not saying, this is an explanation for you. I'm not saying that's what they're thinking right now, but in time, the narcissist will certainly try to hoover you back if they haven't already. But getting back on track, the flying monkeys, they're everywhere. Now, you may even have close friends that, that may tell you, hey, you know, I'm not in contact with your ex anymore. I'm not in contact with them, you know, that's in the past. And maybe that's not true. Honestly, think about it. I'm not suggesting to doubt your friends. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if you shared any common friends with the narcissist and you still are in contact with them, which personally I am not, just to let you know for full disclosure, um, these people may be telling you, let's, let's be real, not everyone tells you the truth, put it that way. So they may be getting reconnaissance on you and, and understanding where you are and how you're doing and how you're growing and all the progress you're making. And that information will trickle back to the narcissist. It will. So just to let you know again, to remind you on the channel that for me personally, what I do is I go no contact, block the narcissist. I've removed each and every individual that I shared in common with the narcissist, and yes, each and every one, and I have nothing to do with any of these people any longer at all. That's my 
path and I strongly suggest that if you have the ability to do so, that's what you do. But with the flying monkeys, these people, most of them sincerely don't have um, the self-confidence and maybe their life isn't as fulfilled as they want it to be. They like drama also. They like to, to stir the pot and they like to have chaos. And they like to see people maybe not put in the best situations. And I'm sure if you were discarded or if your relationship ended, some of these flying monkeys may have been around there just to watch the carnage and to watch exactly what unfolded. Picture it like this. Picture it like, you know, when you're driving on the freeway, if there's a car accident, and I hope there are no car accidents, but if there is one, a lot of pe time people drive by really slowly and they rubberneck and they look, oh, what was that? That kind of, that's just human nature. That's kind of what a flying monkey does. Not all the time, but the flying monkey is prevalent and they're all around you. You may not even know where the flying monkeys are, but just like behind me in these beautiful trees here in Costa Rica, there are monkeys and there are creatures and animals that you can't see. That's exactly where flying monkeys are. Again, other flying monkeys, you may know who they are. You may already know, oh, this person, they, they let me down before. I'm not going to share any information with them. I just I choose to go gray rock and not contact them, and, and that's fine. That's called knowing your boundaries and knowing who you can trust and who you cannot trust. You see, with a flying monkey, you can't trust them because A, many times you don't know who they are, and B, let's be real, when you tell people information, a lot of times it gets misconstrued, which means the information doesn't get back properly to other people. Remember that game, like you have 10 people in a line and you, you, you tell, you, you're in the front of the line and you tell the secret, or you, you, you tell a sentence to the person behind you, then they tell it to the another, next person, next person, and by the time it gets to the 10th person, the whole story, or the secret, or whatever it was, it's totally different because it got lost in translation lost in translation. These kind of things happen. But the flying monkey, they may or may not have your best interest at heart. From my experience, they don't have your best interest. That's why they're a flying monkey. They've already picked their side. They've chosen where they align with, and that's, that's the narcissist. Keep in mind, most people the narcissist surrounds themselves with don't have much self-worth. They're duped. They're being fooled. They believe the narcissist is someone that they're not, and they want to believe the fairy tale that the nar narcissist portrays. Like, the narcissist may play claim they're a victim. They may claim that, that, that they know more than everyone else. Whatever story the narcissist is dishing out to people, and if the people are sticking around them, that's the, that's the narrative that the, that the narcissist wants to tell them, and the people are believing that. And the flying monkeys, the minions, they're everywhere. Trust that. They really are. And notice how the flying monkeys, they, they may you may not see them for a long time, and you're like, oh, I wonder what happened with that person. And you're grateful that you don't have to deal with them any longer. But then all of a sudden they'll appear. And mysteriously, they'll, they'll send you a text or, hey, how's it doing? How, how you doing? You want to grab a coffee or something? And you keep thinking, you're thinking, wow, I haven't talked to you in a while. And why, why am I not talking to you? Oh, that's right. You're a flying monkey. I don't need to give you any information. I choose to not spend time with you. But why will they suddenly ask you for grab a cup of coffee? Is it because all of a sudden they're like, oh, this is great. You know, I really want to spend time with you. No. It's because they're trying to get information on you, trying to do reconnaissance, trying to see how you are, where you are. Why? It's not for them. They sincerely probably don't care. It's to get information back to the narcissist. Now bear in mind, I'm not saying the narcissist is sitting there watching you each and every day and saying, ooh, they're almost ready. They're almost... No, they're not doing that. But when you do cross the narcissist's mind, and eventually you will, I know you will, the, the narcissist, because they're a coward and a baby and a bully, they will not most likely, how do I say it, they could hoover you themselves, they could hoover you by proxy, or they could just have a, oh, a couple fly monkeys swoop in and say, hey, how you doing? You know, let's go play a game of golf today. You're, you up for it? Or how's it been? Things like that. Just beware. Just beware. Protect your boundaries or maintain your boundaries and protect yourself. You can't, you can't trust everybody. And if you share people in common with the narcissist, friends, colleagues, workmates, whomever, keep that in mind. All the information that is getting back to the narcissist about you, that is giving the narcissist supply. And you've already given the narcissist enough supply in your relationship. We don't want to do that any longer. We want you out of the narcissist's radar. We want nothing to do with the narcissist. You know that by now. So maintaining your boundaries, protecting yourself, going no contact, blocking, deleting, and staying away from the flying monkeys. Or if, let's say, that you work with a flying monkey or, or people that you think could be a flying monkey, just go gray rock, one word answers. So if you're at the water cooler today when you're at work and someone's like, hey, how's it going? How was the weekend? And you, you know, in the past, maybe you would have shared everything that you know you, you did this, this, and this. It was incredible. This time, weekend was great. How was yours? Things like that. You understand? The whole idea is now maintaining your boundaries and te test this because this is exactly how you need to be going forward. Again, before I close the video, I'm not saying live this, live on this planet in fear or like, oh, I can't trust people. 
I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is with your education and awareness now on narcissism and with you having gone through the narcissistic abusive cycle, it's now time to put your, uh, to utilize your tools, your skills, and to protect yourself. And fly monkeys are a, another way that the narcissist uses people to manipulate them, to get the, them to do the narcissist's work for them. And keep in mind, last thing, you don't want the narcissist to know anything about you. You want to continue to be going no contact and to not have anything to do with the narcissist. So guys, I hope you liked the video. I love doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew, God bless you. Namaste, have a great afternoon. I will talk to you later. Be blessed, I love you all, bye bye.